Janine, did you always want to run your own business? I think it was a time when I had my third child and I didn't want to return back to you. I, I worked for United International Pictures as a publicist. Um, I didn't want to go back to full-time work. I wanted to do something myself. I um, heard about the, the Juice concept in America. Jeff was going over there to do a radio thing, so I went with him and, and did the research and came back and started on the journey. I think I kind of went, yep, this suits with me. I'm healthy, I'm relatively fit. I believe it's a hole in the market. It just seemed right. So Janine, tell us about Boost Juice today, the company. Uh, in this March, we'll have, we would have been open, well, we would have incorporated for four years. We've got 83 stores. We're opening a store a week. Uh, we have um, a turnover last calendar year of $40 million. And I employ personally about 250 people and the group itself employs about 15 to 1,700. So in the first 12 months of getting the company started, what was the hardest part of that? Uh, look, it was, I must admit it's a blur. You're literally working every second of the day. I didn't take a salary for the first 18 months. The next 18 months, I was on $31,000 a year. Mm -hmm. It is my fourth child. I've, I've never been one that can't, cannot do it. I can always learn. I mean, if you think about it, I was in advertising. I bloody ran a gym there for a little while. I, I was an OPC. I was standing on the street soliciting business to timeshares. I worked on a yacht as a stewardess. I've never done any of this stuff before. And then run a minute cinema. Psh, sure, I haven't done that again. How hard can it be? So Janine, for, for people that are in their 20s and that want to have a business you know, in their 30s like you've got now, what are the key skill areas that they should be looking to develop? All right, I would that say the first thing is trying to find the mentors. Mentors are absolutely invaluable to anyone wanting to get into the business. Really believe in yourself. And when everyone says, else says no, it actually doesn't mean no. It actually just means that there's another way. It's just not that particular way. And I think it's just always finding another way. If I, every time someone said no to me, if I thought it was a no, we wouldn't be at 83 stores and, wouldn't, and I certainly would be a lot greyer. It's just sometimes things just have to have an answer. Um, I think also it's really important that if you're asking someone advice, it's, you think about how many in the population, if you're doing the numbers, only 5% of the population are truly successful or truly wealthy or truly you know, have made it. That person that's telling you no, are they in the 95% or are they in the 5%?